Hi, so this is Microsoft Clarity. This might be the only tool that is free and can do so much stuff for website optimization. You can do heat maps, you can do session recordings, insights, even kind of Google Analytics. Uh, honestly, I don't know why this is free, but this is similar to Hotjar, which costs money. So, you know, if you are looking for alternatives, this could be a good one. So in this video, we'll just do a quick tutorial on how you can set it up. And we will go through a process of like, just, you know, looking at all the features and see what's even possible with this tool. Okay, so let's get started. Once you're signed in, you're gonna see all your projects. I have three projects right now. And if you have none, you can just create a new project. Type in a name. So let's just do one of my like, you know, fun websites on the side. So design hacks, we'll do design hacks dot online. So you just start with the website where you want to run this tool to collect analytics on the users and how to interact with the website. So we'll add a new project. Now, what we need to do is to install a snippet of code from this tool onto that website so we can start using, we can start collecting data. You can start, you know, with all the platforms, you know, we can, it's going to guide you exactly what to do it, or you can just copy paste the code directly. So we'll just do the manual approach just in case you're doing a website that is not compatible with all of these platforms. Here's a quick look at all the websites or all the platforms that are compatible directly. I mean, the compatibility is not the right word here. It's just like, it's just more seamless integration. It is still pretty seamless. Well, I'm just going to show you how. So what we're going to do is copy this code and it says copy and paste the tracking code in the head element of your website. So I have this website here, uh, which is on framer.com, which is uh, one of the tools you can use to create videos or sorry, not videos, websites using AI. I haven't even have a video on how to do that. You can take a look at that one. So let's go and find the settings. So here it looks like there's site settings. You will see site settings for every single uh, tool that you use, you know, for any website builder stuff. Here's the start of our head tag. So what we're going to do here is just copy paste this code and publish. That's pretty much it. So that's all you have to do to set the analytics tool with your website. Super simple, super straightforward. And, uh, and then it should then start collecting data. So let's see if there's a way here for us to figure out if this is done or not. I'm just going to refresh this page here. Okay, I don't see anything here. Let's go back to getting started. Let's go back here in Framer and check if this is done. Maybe I have to hit the save first. Okay, we go back to Clarity now. Um, okay, let's click at this button and see what to say. If you have, there we go. There's a way to verify your installation. I guess it's going to happen automatically. Um, so we'll just give it a minute. Uh, we'll check this back at the end of the video. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you how it works. So I'm going to pick one of my projects. Uh, let's pick this website, which is digital Summer Co. This is where I have all the tools listed. So once you're there, uh, once it, once, once your tool, once your widget is installed, you're going to see something like this. So in the dashboard, you're going to see the sessions, number of pages per session, scroll depth. So how long, how far people are scrolling on your website, the active time spent, live user data, total unique users. So there's like a lot of data here you can see, and this is only tip of the iceberg. Uh, this is like similar to the data you can also get on Google Analytics for free. Uh, this is an interesting one. You can see the JavaScript errors. So what percentage of sessions people had JavaScript errors? So this could help improve your website and see where people are running into errors because you don't really get that information usually. But so yeah, uh, then we can go to recordings here. So this is going to be the live session of how people are looking at the website. So you can go through each one of these recordings. Uh, you can see what people are doing. Of course, all the data that's private to somebody is hidden. It's all anonymous. Uh, this is the data you get. This tool is all GDPR compliant, so you don't have to worry about that. Or you can also look at the heat maps. Uh, we're only looking at the high level, the main website link, but you can do the same stuff, the, the recordings or the heat maps for any of the URLs that are part of your website. So for the heat maps, what you get is where people are clicking, how people are scrolling. So, you know, the red is just means we're getting more clicks there. 
as you can scroll through, you start getting all this data. And you can even like, you know, look at those recordings if you want to. So it's pretty cool. And uh, if you go to filter here, you will be able to filter these sessions at a quite a granular level. So you can go by time frame, date of the week, device browser, user actions, cursor movement, enter text, excessive scrolling, rage clicks, dead clicks. You can change the days with the time frame here, different devices, literally any way you want to dice and slice your user segment to see how people are using your website, you will be able to do so. Even the performances, so the slower websites, if it's not loading fast and stuff, you can check why that is happening by going into those details. So this is like the general overview of uh, what the data you get. And the best part, which I started using recently, is this summarize heat map or like, you know, AI summary for the insights. So I'm just going to click on this button here and you're going to see based on the segment and the filters that we have selected, AI will now be like a UX research expert and will give us the user behavior based on what is seen. I love this feature personally, you know, it just gives me so much information on how people are using. I don't have to look at the recordings and everything. I don't have to spend that much time even looking at the heat maps, even though it's nice and pretty and useful. I can just look at the user behavior here and then start there and then look at the data and see what it says. So I love this feature. Uh, you can also do the same with recordings here where I can just summarize the recordings, top 10 recordings, or I can custom select the recordings based on some segmentations I'm creating of for users or just like, you know, certain say filters that I have on the stuff. So again, uh, this is going to give me some really good data that I could use now to redo my website, make some changes, see where people are clicking. Maybe like people are clicking with this no button or like, so, you know, my design is not clear. A lot of things you can do, but that's a whole separate video. Let me know if you want that. That's kind of like the overview of the tool and how do you use it. And if you go to the settings here, you can add more team members. Uh, if you want, you can, here's like our setup stuff that we just did for the other website. You can also mask, you can change the masking details. So right now we have it unbalanced. So anytime somebody's entering anything from keyboard, we're not recording that data. You can do like relaxed where you can actually look at the data. I would not recommend that at all. Or you can do like, I think right now in the balance, it's only sensitive information. So if the fields have sensitive stuff like phone number or something like that, but uh, you can do all tasks, all text is masked as well. You can do IP blocking. So, you know, if you don't want your own data to be there, you can do that. There's smart event as well. I'm going to show you that in just a second. You can export your data and you can integrate with any of these tools. Now, if you want to like move your data from one tool to another, you can use Zapier integration. I think it's somewhere here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, these are all the native integrations that this tool has. So if we go to dashboard here, we go to smart events. Okay, there is no smart event on this project. Let me go to a different project. Here, for the smart events, you can basically filter your, uh, your sessions quickly by submit form, sign up, log in, contact us. So again, really helps you get to the bottom of what you're looking for super quickly. Yeah, so this is what we have. Let's see if the design hacks is working. I should be able to figure out why this is not working. Uh, let me just give me like just quick 30 seconds. I'm gonna figure out what's going on here. Okay, a closer look, it seems like it can take up to two hours to start seeing data. Uh, so you just have to trust me here that if you just copy the code and put in the header, it should work. I will check this. I'll report back if anything changes. I'll probably mention in the comments uh, what you need to do if I did something wrong here. And also it's interesting to see here, it says clarity masks all sensitive content on your site by default. So again, you know, it protects user's privacy. So if they are entering any phone number or whatnot by default, it is going to mask all that data. So you don't have to worry about all that stuff. So just install it, like your data and start seeing how your website is being used and how you can improve it. Hope this video helps. Let me know what you think about this tool. I'll see you at the next one.